But here's a breath of old-fashioned solitude and sanity. Here the message is preserve, not destroy. And strictly for the birds. This is Slimbridge, Gloucestershire, the headquarters of the Wildfowl Trust, formed by naturalist Peter Scott more than 20 years ago to promote the study and conservation of wildfowl, and still under his personal direction. In one instance, an almost extinct bird, the Hawaiian goose, were brought to Slimbridge for mating. Now, saved from extinction, the subsequent population has been taken back to its original habitat. The birds are treated with loving care. Netting a recalcitrant duck is all part of the day's work, and for its own good, too. A duck dreads an enforced visit to the doctor as much as any human being, but eye infections have to be treated. So blink and bear it. The Trust welcomes visitors from all over the world to see its magnificent collection of wildfowl. But even if you're being watched, there's no need to get into a flap about it. Mrs. Maureen Bauer and pathologist Dr. John Beer are on another mercy mission. But though it's easy to bag a duck, it's a different and dangerous proposition to hook a swan. A valiant struggle is over, but eye drops aren't to be this beautiful bird swan song. The order of the day is powder. But no beauty treatment, this powder is preventative, not beautifying. It stops feather lice. But looking after the birds in their care is only part of the Wildfowl Trust's mission. Scientific research is undertaken into wildfowl biology, and laborious studies of the birds in their wild state and in captivity are also carried out. But here's a knotty problem which even the experts haven't as yet found an answer to. Why do most mallards fly off in a northwesterly direction? 70% do, you know. With the help of a direction finder, Dr. Matthews and Chris Beale illustrate this strange but instinctive work of nature. And yet another mallard flies off towards the northwest. it's not just a daylight trick, sunshine or starlight, the mallard still shoots away in the same direction. Perhaps the mallards take their bearing from the sun, moon and stars. Who knows, but the researchers are determined to find out, and they prove the night flying course with the help of a tiny electric bulb and battery pack attached to the duck's foot. As another mallard flies off on its predestined course, we take it to something else that could be strictly for the birds. Pop group, the pink flag.